Hi, can you tell us your name? I'm Cinnamon! <laughs> Yay, we're so happy to have you. Um, can you talk about how you identify in terms of gender and sexuality? Um, well, I think that Cinnamon um, identify as pretty high femme. I, yeah, I want to be covered in, well, I was going to say I want to be covered in glitter, but so do gay boys and drag queens. Um, and I'm pretty queenie myself, but I think that um, high femme is, I think, the right term that I would like to use. Cool. I like hot, nice shoes. I don't, I don't like, I don't think I have a shoe fetish, but I appreciate a person who appreciates my gold shoes, my black glitter shoes, um, that sort of thing. I also appreciate food, if it's made especially for me, just so you know. I like casseroles. Um, and... A, a big dick. I mean, for me, personally. I wear the big dick. Yeah. Um, I like, on, on camera, I think sometimes it's a little bit different. In the past, I haven't gotten a chance to really, like... I mean, I've topped in a lot of my scenes, but I feel like I'm always a little bit shy. Um, so I haven't really gotten to fuck the way like I really want to fuck on camera, and hopefully I won't get dick shy, and I'll be able to fuck the way I really fuck at home. I I think that one of my favorite things to do on camera, um, is I kind of like to giggle a lot. Um, I think that sex can be fun and I think that sometimes it gets a little bit serious when it's porn. Um, or even in, just in general in front of other people I think that sex is like gotta be really serious and we've gotta be super sexy. Um, and I mean, I'm, I'm saying this stuff but it's probably gonna end up being a little bit serious, feeling a little serious just because we're shy. Um, but I like to giggle on camera. I think that lines up the mood a little bit for everybody and the viewer as well. Um, I get to practice <laughs> beforehand with my partner and I say, I think we should do this. Oh, maybe we should do this instead. Or maybe this scene would be a better idea. Um, so that's, that, that's fun, of course. Um, but also because I get to see Indigo's growth mostly, I think it's about that. It's about being able when I did my first porn, I did it with a friend of mine. I've done all my porns with friends of mine, and I knew them beforehand. Um, but it's a little bit... I don't... Again, I don't really know what it's like exactly for Indigo, but I, I like seeing Indigo's growth doing porn. Um, saying, well, babe, I really like that thing that we did last time, but actually, I kind of wish you would really top me on camera. That would make me feel a lot more comfortable. That is all I want to hear. Um, and that was really awesome instead of being... I don't know, both of us, I guess, kind of felt like maybe there was supposed to be some kind of way when we shot together the first time, or this or that, but afterwards we got to talk about it, and we've been talking about it, and what we would like to do in the future, and what Indigo would like with other people when they shoot porn with other people, and how to communicate that sort of thing, or what they would like in their next porn with other people. So that's kind of nice. I love being high femme because a lot of the time people are, you know, they assume I'm just high femme, so I must be the fuck E. Um, there's no nice way to say this, but I wear the dick in this relationship all, most of the time. I don't know if Indigo would want me to say that, actually. I'll ask them. I, I think that would be okay, but we should just probably check. Um, but I think that um, being high femme top um, with a dick is... Not, I don't, I don't want to say empowering because I feel some kind of way about saying that, um, but it's, it's the surprise factor. That's what it is. It's a surprise factor um, that I like about being high femme. Um, I, I, more, I don't know how to explain it. Um, it's about feeling like the dude, but not, it's not, not that. It's about like having this, like, this boy in front of me that's like, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> but having a boy in front of me that's like yes give it to me where I feel like a lot of the time boys are supposed to be like just giving it and giving it and giving it and I like to see like like make it about the boy and I feel some kind of I feel like late I don't want to say lately but I feel like we're kind of in this time where it's like make make the woman happy make the woman happy well what about the woman being chivalrous what about the high femmes being chivalrous and giving it to the giving it to the boys every once in a while um, I want a boy to beg me for more. You know, it feels good sometimes. That's all. <laughs> that's, that's beautiful. <laughs> 
that's like the that's like the femme top manifesto yeah. right there. Exactly. <laughs> I love talking about it's it's being a queer person of color, sex worker of color, is. I hate to say that it's not really a big part of my identity as a sex worker or as a person, but it is. I'm really aware of the fact that my skin color <sighs> makes me lose some clients, makes me get some clients, makes me get some jobs, makes me lose some jobs. Um, also my weight has a lot to do with that as well. Um, am I ashamed of those things? F fuck no. Um, I'm proud of those things, but it's hard sometimes knowing that like my friends are doing this or doing that things that I can't do because of the way that I look. I mean, it's disappointing that my image has so much to do with the jobs that I don't get. Um, but at the same time, it's nice to know um, <sighs> that I also have a niche market in a way, or even just friends that I can go to that support that, or support me and understand where I'm coming from. and. Um, that they're, how do I say this, um, knowing that I, being a, like a sex worker of color, knowing that that makes people happy in this way, I don't know how to explain that, not just, not, not clients or producers or people, but, um, other folks of color other people who are not like who are not of color other sex workers other people who are not sex workers but knowing that there's like somebody out there that is like okay. um no i don't think i identify as an exhibitionist um i i fuck in front of people and i do porn um to let them know that there are sex workers of color out there to let them know that there are fat people out there to let them know that there are fat sex workers of color out there